So let's get into this tea. We're about to get into the truth about my past, opening up about my journey and challenges. Let's get it. What's good, so cool, fam? It's your boy, Citizen Cool, and I'm back again with another video. And I wanted to start this video off by just saying thank you guys for the love and the support you've been showing me, especially after the last video I posted. I know it's been a lot going on. And I've seen everything. I've heard all the rumors, all the allegations, all the drama. But today, I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. I've been thinking a lot since the last video, and I feel like it's time for me to be real with y'all. Like, I mean, real in a way that I've never been before, even though I've, as of lately, been so real. You see, behind all the success, jokes, and lifestyle, it's just a lot that people don't get to see. And I know some of y'all out there might be going through tough times on your own, like real rough times, right? So I think it's time that I share a part of my story that I've been keeping private for a long time. And you guys probably get my drip, but today I want to talk about my personal battle with depression and mental health. And yeah, I know it ain't easy to talk about, but I feel like if my story can help at least one to 10 of y'all out there, then you know, y'all won't be as struggling as you think you are right now. So I feel like it's worth it for me to talk about this. So let's just get into it, man. Let's just talk about why I've been mentally and what I've been dealing with and how I'm working on getting through it. And I know this isn't what most of y'all expect me to do when you click on the See This So Cool video, but today is different, just like the last week has been different. And I feel like every day gonna be different from here on out. It's okay to have compassion for me. I know for a lot of you, like feeling sorry for someone successful, it's just not in your brain to do. You look up to someone for so long and then you see, oh, they a human too, then you start kicking them while they down. It's super easy to do that for anybody. I can do that. I can look up to, let's just use P. Diddy right now. P. Diddy going through a lot. They trying to compare me to P. Diddy and Drake and all that. And I don't, you know, I don't want to be a part of that. I'm not involved in any of those conversations. Never have, never will be. Of course, now it is because they didn't lie on me. But to stay on topic, I just want you guys to know, like, for the most part, I've been saying since September I was going through depression, but it actually started before then. I've been going through depression for a long time, off and on. And... That's why I want you guys to know, I'm not talking about financial struggles when I come out and say I'm going through depression. It has nothing to do with money. I've had money for so long that money could not be the reason why I fall into depression or at least in and out of it. Um, I feel like falling into depression, it, it comes from- or Lying. Comes from you not being honest. <laughs> stems from you always having a lot of pressure on you if you're that go-to person for people to come to and put their problems off on you, then it's gonna be easy for you to fall into depression. Because it's like the movies, right? I don't know a specific movie title I can throw out there, but I've seen movies where they're superheroes and one of the superheroes have a power where she can heal people, right? And how does she heal people? By taking their pain from them and accepting it on herself. It hurts her just to heal you. And if you are one of those people, then I want you to know that I don't want you to stop you can be that, part, that, that shoulder for them to lean on. It's a good thing. But if you take too much and you don't go seek counseling, you don't have therapy, and you don't have no one you can lean on, then it's only a matter of time before those problems become your problems because subconsciously, the more we collect, the more we accept. So once your brain starts hearing it, <laughs> it starts maybe thinking and predicting that it can happen to you. And that's the bad thing about comments. You see comments saying, oh, she just a cool broke. Oh, she just a cool broke. My bank account fat. Got way more money than their whole family. And... I'm reading things from them that could subconsciously mess me up in the future. And that's what I believed happened. So even though I don't want to blame it on y'all, because y'all are the community that supported me, brought me up from the dust. And I, I love you guys, truly. A lot of y'all support me. Some of y'all are trolls. And it, it comes with the game. I already understand that. It's like being an NBA superstar. You're going to get taunted. So CJ blaming us again. Got it. Right? It just happens, even to the best of them. But... Like I said, it still weighs me down. Just waking up, reading negativity, waking up, accepting this into my life, into my heart, into my... Stop reading it. ...conscious and then trying to go through my day like a normal individual, like a human being is supposed to, and just always dwelling on the fact that someone just left this negativity on me. So for the longest, I can't even remember how long I've been fighting depression. I've been battling mental health issues. Am I mentally crazy? No. But for the most part, y'all didn't see so many videos of me basically crying out for help. Even though I don't be saying, help, help, you know, I just come out and make a video that y'all don't seem fit for my channel. And it's because it ain't. It shouldn't be out on the internet. Sometimes I just need someone to talk to, someone to lean on. So what do I do? I pick up the camera and I talk to y'all. And that should show a lot. That should say a lot. I trust you guys. I love this community. And I feel like y'all got my back. I feel like y'all got my best interest. And even though some of y'all are trolls, I don't really, you know, give it all to y'all. I don't want to give y'all too much credit because it ain't that many of y'all. For every thousand fans, I got 10 haters. You do the math. It ain't that much. 
So, but the more that I read, it, it starts to weigh on me, even though it ain't a lot of people saying it, because the things that some of these haters are saying is heavy. But yeah, back to mental depression, because this video is not about me. It's about me helping you guys and, and, and extending my help to you as far as giving huh? you my experiences. So I'm waking up reading comments. I'm waking up in a household where there is minimum love. There is like, you know, we're, we're zombified. We wake up and we just there. And that was helping add to the depression of me not being in a household where there's actual love, where I'm trying to put out love, but it's not being reciprocated all the time. And, and you know, the energy is just always bad and negative. And I ain't a warlock, I ain't a witch, I ain't no demon, I ain't none of that. And I ain't never really physically thought that I would see any of that in my life, but it ain't like the movies, bruh. We don't have vampires with fangs. We have actual humans that look like us. And you know, we might call them shapeshifters or whatever. We might come up with cool names for them, but for the most part, they look like humans, they are humans, they act like humans, but in reality, they are here to destroy the good ones. If you have a good soul, a good spirit, you think that you're not shining bright? You think you're not emitting light? You think these demons can't find you? It's like the Batman symbol, literally. Someone got a good soul, a good spirit, and they start opening up to the world. These demons are gonna find you, bro. They just are. It ain't that hard, especially if you're in the wrong place. So. Back to the topic, my mental health issues came from a lot. Y'all know my whole story. I've always tried to tell you guys and be as transparent as possible about my upbringing, about how my mom wasn't there, about how even though she's here now, I can't get over what was. And I need to talk to a therapist, but I'm not that type of person. And it ain't got nothing to do with my color or my race, but I'm not the type of person where I feel like, okay, let me go drop a bag on this person because they gonna listen to me because it's their job description to do so. Like, I'm the type of person that's over the years figured out maybe I should talk to y'all because even though y'all ain't no certified therapist, most of y'all be knowing what's good. When I read some of the comments after doing a video like this, I... CJ. <clears throat> this man crazy. When you do stuff like that, you actually have to take what the people are saying, especially experiences that people have experienced. Y'all helped me a lot. Um, I don't know if y'all know what me and Honey Sauce was going through. We came out about, um, you know, just... Co-parenting, say that. Co-parenting. And a lot of my supporters, I'm saying mine because a lot of y'all knew me when I didn't have no damn family. So y'all was like, yo, <laughs> listen, it's different ways to go about this. A lot of y'all, you know, deal with co-parenting and things like that. A lot of y'all helped me through that, to be honest, because I just, I was not understanding and it was it was a lot of help, but I had to take the help, right? Um, I feel like y'all helped Honey Sauce as well when it came to certain things we put out. After that, though, we can no longer put things out like that because people still use it after you even, when you're done going through your cycle, they still use it. And it's like, okay. <laughs> like, everybody's not there to actually support you. Some people are actually there to destroy you. So... Definitely don't regret doing it, but definitely ain't ever doing it again um, because of that reason. But every time something happened, he keep bringing it to us. Like every time we get deeper and deeper into his drama, deeper and deeper into his upbringing with his mama, deeper and deeper into his beef with his mom, just so like it's too deep. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are here to destroy him. You you need to talk to somebody else. I be saying, they right. Oh, I'm going to use that. That's cool. I believe them. I should learn from that. And I understand that some of y'all just, y'all live life and y'all observe so much that you are smarter than the rest of us. Some of y'all have more common sense and common sense ain't that common. And I appreciate that. That's why I go to y'all instead of a therapist, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does, because I ain't just rambling. Straying away from God could lead to depression so quickly, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even think to say, well, maybe it's because I haven't been to church. But that's definitely, it could be one of the reasons. So for those of you out there fighting depression, battling mental health issues and all of that, just start by going to church. I know I was saying, go to work out, go work out, go work out, go work out. I'm gonna keep saying that, I'm gonna keep doing that. Look, I got my workout clothes on. As soon as I leave this video, guess what I'm doing? I'm gonna work out. I don't disagree with that. But guess what I'm doing at 5 p.m. today? It's Saturday, by the way. I'm going to church with my boy, Kevin. Guess what I'm doing tomorrow? I'm going to church with my friend, Lexi, and her friend, uh, I forgot her name, uh, Heather. Heather. I'm going to church with Heather and Lexi tomorrow. They got a, two different churches I'm going to be going to. 
Today I'm going to a church on Saturday. Tomorrow I'm going to a church on Sunday. I don't care what y'all haters say. Oh, now you want to go to church? Guess what? Yeah, it's never a wrong time to go to church. Come on, bro. It's never a wrong time to accept it and say, hey, God, I literally just fell astray. I've been doing my own thing thinking that it's because of me that I'm all up here and it's literally because of you because I gave myself to you before and then <laughs> I ended up straying away and it ain't nobody's fault. I'm going to take full accountability. It's my fault that I strayed away. How can I accept the fact that I say, Oh, well, I let this girl persuade me that I shouldn't live the way I was raised. <laughs> Forget that girl, man. I should have said, I'm going to be homeless. I'm going to stand on my business. I should have said, God got me. But what did I do? I went against God. Now y'all saying you think he did it. Why are y'all saying that? I was able to just somehow maintain a nine-year relationship with someone that doesn't believe in the same God I was raised to praise. And, you know, y'all seen everything. Don't celebrate this. Don't celebrate that. Did and he not say he didn't do it? And now I'm free. I'm free of all those spirits and I can do what I want. And now I'm about to take this opportunity to do good by it. And y'all can't be nothing but happy for me. So back to y'all, because this is about y'all. Make sure you stay connected to God. That means reading that Bible. That means praying and CJ, why do they always go through shit and then be like, I'm here to help you? Ain't no way in hell you can help anybody if you cannot help yourself. You still trying to figure out how to help you. We're going to end this video. I don't think it's nothing else for us to see here. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.